what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and of course we are back with another episode of broken ambition guys our girl miss azulia had had enough she had enough of saying she was like you know what i'm sick of you i'm sick of these games i'm sick of you trying the stuff with me so we're leaving so she threatened i forgot the girl's name who's our maid um to help her escape she's like you know help me escape or i'll shoot you um and then she did she helped her find a way out but azuya got out and she realized we're in the middle of fucking nowhere i wouldn't even know whether to go left or right to get home so literally i'm still stuck so she got upset she got mad and then um we see a car pull up and it's zuko who is zuko who is the cutie the boxing cutie that our little sister valencia um met at the underground when she was trying to fight so now zuko knows exactly what azuya looks like and where she is so now zuko's gonna get involved which are probably gonna lead us even closer to getting home but yeah guys that is all that i can remember that happened but you guys know that you know as we go on we'll talk more about what is going on but anyway let's just jump in i watched the two men who pull up to the cabin i couldn't help but feel disgusted how the fuck did they manage to get in this shit is so messed up what the fuck are you staring at I don't think you're supposed to be out here all alone little girl go back inside before you get in danger i don't see what could be so dangerous about two dense idiots who wear vest and open jackets in the cold very funny don't make me call dawn out to get you punch him in his kidney what oh Fuck you. Remember, I didn't do shit to you. <laughs> He's like, I don't I don't know what's going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. Leave me alone. Give me the keys and I'll con consider sparing you. Oh, God. What are you two doing here? It's like, give me the keys. Give me the keys. We were sent to discuss the meeting. Well, we volunteered. Are you even listening? Yeah, we can talk about this inside. Can I have the keys? Come inside, Easy. No. The last thing I want to do is go inside, especially if that means I have to be near you, you egocentric asshole. AZ, it was only a picture of you and your family. I don't care if it was only a picture of my damn pinky. That doesn't give you the right to go open it. All you ever care about is your fucking cell, Zane. I hate you and I wish you just left me alone. Okay. I'm. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, if you guys don't remember, um, Zane opened our mail or our letter or whatever it was. And apparently it was a picture of our family. So, and Azulia didn't like that. That's why she was ready to leave because she's like, you're really invading my privacy. Like, damn, I can't have anything to myself. Ready? Later. Ooh, now that girl Miss Valencia out here looking good in the purple. Love that for her. I still can't believe Dad would call the police rather than taking matters in his own hands. It was weird. It wasn't like him at all. He hates them. Oh, yes. Also, the police came to the house because he finally reported Azulia as a missing person. I guess because they really don't know where to look for her anymore. Um, and they were like, yeah, if she's been gone this long. She's probably dead. So we're probably going to declare her a dead person. Um, and the dad was like, yeah, don't do that. My daughter's not dead. Like, 
seriously. And I couldn't sit around like I'm okay with it. I had to leave. I just wish they would take this seriously and stop acting like it's Azulia. Like, like, since it's Azulia, everything's fine. The words were just mixing together there for a second, y'all. Sorry. Can I get you love? Something strong, please? I know drinking isn't a resort, but I don't even like, I don't even like drinking. But I heard it's a way to escape your problems and feel better, so... Girl, now she's gonna turn to drinking. Thank you. Where the fuck did that girl go? <laughs> Not laughing. Poor baby's first time drinking. You can tell? Please, who can't? I can tell it's your first time in a club too by that floral dress you're wearing. It's not floral. Whatever floats your boat. So what happened? What? Why are you drinking? I'd rather not talk about boring. I can help you, you know. You can find my sister. Okay. See, that's the spirit. I guess my drink will have to wait. Come on, Dagger. Where are we going? Just come on. Okay, but you can help me find my sister? Because that's the problem. Our sister gone. You guess you'd involved yourself in trouble and now you don't know where you're going. Hey, piece of sh I know you're not smoking without me. He's curious. Who's purple dress? You see that girl ain't got no clothes on. Oh, you poor baby. Give her your fucking coat. Or she finna find another husband and say, or she gonna find another man. I'm Dylan. Even though that's still not really her man, but still. Valencia. Shit, why did my whole name slip out? And said, and Armano shall never wear the real name, especially to an associate. Fuck, daddy's gonna kill me. Oh, that's cute. You smoke? No. Look, I should probably really get going. Come on, Dagger. Don't try to haul ass now. Just once. It'll heal you. All your worries will disappear. I used to be just like you. Why are you so close, though? Like, girl, back up. Lost. Unheard. Like no one could ever understand me. Until I realize it's never too late to be who you might have been. Give me guide. Let me guide you, Valencia. I can help you. I wasn't in the right state of mind. I shouldn't have ever come out that night. Because everyone knows drinking leads to dumb decisions. Oh, Lord. Now she's gonna come in Kai Kai as a height. High as a kite. Like, come on, Valencia girl. And she crying. Bless her heart. Our girl Miss Valencia is just a mess. She's really a mess. You good? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? The girl outside? I knew she looked hella familiar. Yeah, she's in a mono. Didn't Jer, Jag, mention she was taking out my men? Yeah. Anyways, let me break down what your father said. Yeah, fuck that. My nose is killing me. Oh, you're sick. No, I don't get sick. It'll be gone by tomorrow. Laying in bed. 
all day. Anna, could you turn on the porch lights? Yes, sir. Who knew sitting outside for hours could be so boring? I've been staring at the same evergreen tree for the past 25 minutes. I didn't actually want to stay out here. I didn't want him to leave as quickly as he did, but most importantly, I didn't want him to hear me say that. What's in the letter? He was right. It was only a picture of me and my family. Cute. We got cousin DJ. We got us. We got Valencia, our brother Blaze, and our parents. <gasps> Look how cute we all are. He was just too self-regarding to understand that. When Zaire brought it to me, I was shocked myself. I mean, you could find it easily on the web, but it was the fact that he printed it out for me to have really touched me. It wasn't the fact that Zayn opened it. It was the fact that he had access to something that made me so vulnerable. And sometimes I wish he'd understand that not everyone could be so detached and airy as him. AZ! I bought you some hot chocolate. Now she took it, girl. Yeah, because take it. Because you've been out here a while. And you're probably cold. You're probably wet. Just go back in the house. You know you don't have to sit out here. It's much warmer inside. Is Zane okay? What do you mean? I said some pretty ruthless shit earlier that I didn't mean for him to hear. And now I have no choice but to sit out here and think about it over and over again. I don't know why I feel so bad about it, but I do. Even though he made that same un-pre-justice face, I can't help but feel like I hurt his feelings. Well, why don't you just ask him? Ask him what? Ask him if he, if what you said made him feel some type of way. Why are you so scared to communicate with him? I'm not scared. It's just hard to have a serious conversation, sit down conversation with him. Uh, I clicked too fast. I didn't see what that said. Just don't be all awkward. That way he knows you're serious. If he just sits there, say something that'll snuff him back into reality. Who are you? A girl who's been working for Mr. Donovan for four years. Now suck up your pride and come back inside. She's like, girl, because you're going to freeze out here. Now you're going to be cold. And I ain't got time to be burying bodies or telling this man he got to bury bodies because you don't froze to death his room is the door to the left i'll be sweeping floors if you need me he <sighs> he <laughs> sorry <laughs> i don't know where that came from standing in front of zane's door felt like standing in front of a burning fire Suddenly, everything got hot and I was tempted to just leave everything behind. There was also the part of me that had a reason to let it all out. Knock again. I was going to say, girl, knock again. Stare contest. Oh, girl, not just walk in the room. Make yourself a con. We can be body to body, body to body. Great, he's just staring. Isn't he gonna ask why I'm in his fucking room? Zane Donovan. Oh, he looks shook by that. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me. Okay. I like how he was so shook about her using his first and last name. Before I could say anything, Zane sat on the edge of the bed, putting all his attention to me. It was awkward, and I felt like I was going to give a presentation or something. What do you want to talk about? Why can't I just apologize? I'm making this harder than it's supposed to be. 
about you and me? Not like that, I mean. You mean about me being an egotistical asshole? Yes! Wait, no! Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous. Well, if that's all, I'm going to go to sleep. All of that just to freeze up like a damn idiot. Hey, Zane, I just wanted to say sorry for acting like a total jackass earlier. Thought I should just let you know. This place is slowly making me go insane. What'd he say? I couldn't tell. He didn't say anything either. It was like he was unfazed. Oh? Oh, he is sick, so maybe I'll just have to wait. He's sick? And here I am thinking he's immune to the cold or something. Why he's so damn good at hiding everything? Don't worry about it. It's Zane. He'll feel better after a nap. Girl, man, gonna be down bad. Horrible tomorrow. Who said I was worried? Good night, Hazy. Yeah, I'm not worried. Just bored is what I told myself. So bored, I was gonna take care of Zane Donovan. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today, guys. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. So we apologize to Zane. Zuko has showed up. Maybe he's not one of the brothers. Maybe he is an employee of the dad's. I'm not sure, but he is now involved in the story even deeper than he was before. But guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh.